Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So today I want to talk about something that has been on my mind and on the mind of a lot of SEOs uh, in the industry. And that is how Google has started to take your title and just shop it around or do whatever it essentially wants to do with it. So if you don't know, um, Google well, Google has been doing this for some time. Like, like when you search for something, um, it doesn't always use the meta title tag to show up the uh, you know render the title of the page on the SERP on the search engine results page what it sometimes does is it uses the h1 t t uh, tag if if that was uh, more relevant but now what they're doing is a little different what they're doing is they're just shopping up your title altogether um so they're making a new title to better fit what they think the searcher wants to see in the title and i've seen this in practice i've actually have been looking for a, a question and i clicked on the um the 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 article and it was not the answer to the question google just kind of just chopped up the 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 title and i know it did that because i searched for the exact title inside of the article and nowhere were those characters that was that text written so they're claiming that this is for user experience and for searchers to get better results didn't help me didn't help me much um but i can definitely see this being a positive for um people who don't take seo seriously so one of the things um, i'm actually looking at uh, an article from search engine land right here called Google explains why it made the title change to the search results. And what they're saying is that Google went from using your HTML title tag 80% of the time to 87% of the time in the past couple of weeks. I don't know if that means that uh, they were like, no, we're going to do it 80% and then there was a lot of lashback. And they're like, okay, we'll do it 87% just to make you guys happy. Um, rightfully so, if the lashback, because that means that you're optimizing your article for no reason if google's just going to take 13 if the 13 percent of the time google's not going to show what you want it to show that's a problem especially if you're uh, paying good money for um uh, an agency or uh, an seo to help you out they're hopefully picking the right keywords they know the searcher intent they know what they're doing with the meta meta tags titles the headings the h2s everything and then google just does whatever it wants based on an algorithm you know, the article says that we'll, only time will tell to see if Google actually, if this is actually a good change for SEOs, if this is a good thing for bloggers and other website owners, but we'll see. So one of the things that they did mention is that they're doing this because, uh, well, I'll just read it right here. So we've used text beyond the title elements in cases where our systems determine that the title element might not describe a page as well as it could some pages have empty titles some use the same titles on every page regardless of the page's actual content some pages have no title elements at all so that's a good point so if someone doesn't know anything about seo or web design development anything about the internet at all they might just write a page and not use uh any meta anything if you're using wordpress um i think you're good i don't think let me think real quick no, yeah, yeah. So, so it, you, the on WordPress, if you write a post, the post is going to be by default. The post title is going to be by default the meta title. That's just the way that the CMS works, the content management system WordPress works. But uh, if you're using something else, maybe you wrote your own website from scratch and you forgot or you don't know any better, and you just have like your same website name on every single title. Um, that's not good. Not good practice. And yeah, I guess the, the, the searcher might actually wants to see what's in your content, but you never gave it a title, so Google doesn't know what to do. So I guess in some cases it works, but another thing that this article pointed out is that we need an, a way to opt out. So if you do know what you're doing, if you're an SEO that knows what you're doing or just a website owner that knows what you're doing and knows exactly what you want to present to a searcher, there should be a way to get out of this um this this system because you don't want google to mess around with something that you worked already really hard to optimize right just a thought what do you think i don't know let me know what you think it'd be great if this is what google was doing but it's not what they're doing they need to stop or give us a way to opt out they take our brand name move it around remove pipes make dashes take out key terms from several of our good titles etc let's opt out so this is from uh kristen i wish i could say her last name <laughs> it'll be in the, in the screen 
but yeah like they'll your brand name is probably a very important part of your title and they'll purposefully remove it just to um i mean how does that you know this branding is something that's so important to so many of the big brands like tiffany i think home depot is big on branding i don't know there's just a lot that depend on very specific way of doing things and now you're gonna have google messing around with uh their optimized titles that's a bummer okay but that's just what i think what do you think let me know what you think so that i can reply to you in the, in the comments and we can have discussion because i actually want to know what you think about this is it a good thing that google's messing around with the title tags and on the uh, the way that the page renders on the serp is it a bad thing i think it's like 50 50 i don't know i think Fixing a problem that probably very few people are affected with is and, and, and mandating that solution to everybody is probably not the way to go for, for uh, you know, for this. So that's just what I thought. All right. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, click the subscribe. If you want to see me ranting about more stuff related to SEO, marketing, social media, stuff like that. Take care.